This is an exciting day as we break ground at the new ECAMI Training Center here in West Liberty. Kentucky's largest correctional facility, the Eastern Kentucky Correctional Complex, to secure 21st century training and high paying jobs for individuals as they transition back to civilian life. It stands for groundbreaking compassion that will give hope to those who are committed to making the most of a second chance. We are honored today to have with us Governor Andy Bashir and his administration, including Advisor Rocky Adkins, Cabinet Secretaries Rebecca Goodman and Carrie Harvey, from Senator Mitch McConnell's office, Donna McClure and Megan Van Camper, from U.S. Hal Rogers' office, Adam Rice, and Kentucky State Senators Brandon Smith and Richard White, Kentucky Agriculture Commissioner Ryan Quarles, Morgan County officials John Will Stacy, Judge Executive Mayor Mark Walters, and Greg Motley, Morgan County Sheriff. E. Cammy, based in Paintsville, Kentucky, teaches high tech skills necessary for our workforce to participate in jobs of today and tomorrow. Industries from manufacturing to aerospace, food and beverage, and logistics are in the midst of a digital revolution, generating an unprecedented demand for what we call new collar workers. Workers prepared for new careers in the dynamic world of automation and robotics. And that's what Ikami is all about. In just months, we are upskilling the people of our area, many of whom were displaced from the coal industry for jobs which require these latest cutting edge skills. We're building a highly skilled workforce needed to attract new industry to the region. The success of this fast track program speaks for itself. ECAMI graduates have built a brand a brand that stands for excellence, first-class talent, and unparalleled work ethic. Whether it's CNC machining, 3D printing, or robotics, employers from across the United States travel to ECAMI in a quest to hire a graduate to help them usher in this new era of automation. We are truly honored to have several of these companies joining us here today, including AutoGuide Mobile Robots, Yaskawa, Mir, Snap-on Tools, Rauschades Manufacturing, Gray Solutions, and Lockheed Martin. We've got more. Ready Robotics, FedEx, Balif, the Tony Gun Show, all the way from London, England. Tony, where are you? There he is. Thank you all for making the journey. Appalachian Wireless, Frontier Med Medical Associates, Abandon Mine Lands, EK SEP, and Big Sandy Action. And Colleen Hayes with Teradyne. Colleen, where are you? I spoke with her a couple of days ago. She was in Denmark. Thank you for making the journey. <laughs> Expanding ECAMI to this West Liberty campus provides another opportunity to address a significant challenge in need of a solution. As we celebrate Second Chance Month in April, it is befitting to announce this exciting pilot program providing the justice-involved population with the opportunity to earn the same state-of-the-art technical education offered in Paintsville, earning national credentials in automation. Upon release, 
We are confident that this initiative will restore dignity by providing access to high paying jobs while opening the doors to a brighter future for those in need of meaningful employment opportunities. It is my pleasure to welcome my friend and partner, Warden David Green. I want to say good afternoon to everyone uh, and welcome you to the grounds of the Eastern Kentucky Correctional Complex here at West Liberty. Uh, from my staff and myself, you're very welcome here. Today we begin a journey, a journey that will be unprecedented within the Department of Corrections, a journey that will enhance the opportunities for Kentucky's offenders being released to society change their lives and not come back to prison again. The past five years we have had hundreds of conversations. After hours at night, on weekends, holidays, it didn't matter. We kept the conversation going. We went through the leasing of this property, the designing of the building and trying to acquire funding for it. Finally, all of those are completed and we are ready to go. Now let's talk about what this program will mean to the offenders that complete it. It will mean hope and opportunity. The opportunity of lifetime and the hope of a better life. The three biggest challenges for an offender when released from prison is getting a job, housing, and transportation. This program will check all of those boxes. This will help recidivism well as give these people a fighting chance to be successful in society. I also want to thank Department of Corrections Commissioner Cookie Cruz. Cookie, put your hand up. There she is. Thank you very much for your support. And Deputy Commissioner Randy White. Randy. Thank you, Randy. Thank you all for supporting ECAMI and helping all the obstacles that we had to overcome. They both represent the exceptional talent tucked away here in the mountains of Eastern Kentucky. I'm happy to introduce Tory Leg, followed by Travis Preston. Thank you, Mrs. Walker. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today to share with you a little about my journey to eCami. I'm 30 years old and a native to Johnson County. I've been enrolled at eCami since February 21st, 2022. My class and I have already acquired four NIM certifications. These certifications are globally recognized in the industry. We are on target to graduate from the program at the end of July. I also have an associate's degree focusing in electrical technology. However, despite these accomplishments, my life has not always been on the straight and narrow. From 2011 to 2016, my life was anything but. I've struggled with numerous drug addictions throughout the years. I've spent months of my life in and out of jail. I've made countless regretful decisions, all of which I would give anything to be able to go back and take. But as we know, that is not an option. But what is an option, the only option, is to continue to keep our heads held high and strive for a better future for ourselves. Even though after achieving my degree, I still felt as though it would never amount to much. I've spent the last three years of my life trying to convince myself to be complacent with minimum wage income, to live paycheck to paycheck, just as I have since I moved out of my parents' home at the young age of 18. Lo and behold, a conversation, one that I wasn't even aware had occurred on my behalf, was pivotal to my future. Enter eCami. I knew this place was none like any other from my first tour at the state-of-the-art facility. The faculty and staff are so welcoming and eager to share their wealth of knowledge. The best part about this program is that this curriculum is not out of reach for anyone, regardless of education level or ability. All that is asked of you is to meet the staff halfway. Prove to them that you have the drive and the determination to go and succeed, and they will all go to the ends of the earth to ensure that you are victorious. Numerous companies are eager to hire the prestigious e graduate because they know that they will be working with people 
that are more than knowledgeable about the industry than your average technical graduate. A year ago, I never thought I'd be standing up here. I was a prisoner, up in prison, uh, due to drug addiction. I was in there and I felt all my opportunities were gone. I had no future to look forward to. But fortunately, I was enrolled and got accepted to ECAMI. And uh, that was a place where I didn't have to worry about my past and I didn't feel that it would define me. Uh, just last week, I wrote a uh, computer program and built my own part. I, I never, when I first started and I saw that, I looked at it and I, I thought, it just looked like gibberish, I had no idea. And I look at it now, you know, I see that machine's gonna do this or that, you know. So. And uh, we just wanna thank you, Cammy. And um, Governor Bashir brought a plant to Kentucky. Yeah, two of them. So by the time they get opened, you know, all the skills they have and give us um, it okay. <laughs> Grateful to be here today and just to, to, to be here amongst this program and, and with all that's going on. Like you said, my name is Theron Green. I'm a field service manager for Auto Guide. Um, that's where I am currently. That's not where I started. Um, I started uh, typically like any other youth, just going through life. I made a lot of bad decisions in my life, and those decisions led me into a place of incarceration. Um, I went through that as a youth, and, and through faith in God, He restored me me another opportunity in life uh, and, and with that comes a lot of responsibility on my side as well um, opportunities are not always easily found for those who have had uh, backgrounds uh, coming from incarceration and the, the, the tools and skill sets necessary to be successful so they don't relapse and, and come, turn back to their old ways once they get out if we don't have opportunities if they don't have skills or, or places to work and grow and to see this and, and want to see it to to the end as well and as we go through this open up more facilities in the, in the in the state so i think it's a great thing anything i can do to be a part of that and help grow it uh in our company supporting as well um to help grow this and i think it's a great thing so grateful for the opportunity thank you everybody thanks For those of you uh, that don't know Kathy Walker, I've known Kathy for many, many years. Uh, Kathy is probably one of the most persistent, one of the most dedicated, one of the most grab you by the ear and drag you along. If you've not been to the eCami facility in Painesville, I would, uh, I would invite you to go on this tour and actually see what's about to happen on these grounds here in Morgan County. To be able to see the advanced technologies that these students are having the opportunity to train in an advanced manufacturing sector. To see the people who she has brought to that facility, uh, the industry partners that you have heard announced here today and introduced here today. Those that have been laid off from occupations, people that are able to go in, robotics and all of this other equipment that I can't even pronounce the names of. To watch these students come in, I mean, fired up and ready to go. Demanding that you show up to work as a student on time. To make sure you look good that you play the way you look and you look the way you play. For a training institute to be able to eat off the floors and for the students when they leave their workstation to know that it better be in that condition when they walk away. To instill that kind of discipline 
and for Kathy to be able to attract a lot of the industry partners that are here today to basically be a place of a recruitment advanced manufacturing facility in eastern Kentucky. But for the industry partners here today, I have a message for you. The economy in Kentucky is hot. Announcements are being made across this Commonwealth that have never been made in the history of Kentucky. I am watching as an Eastern Kentucky, as an Eastern Kentucky and seeing the economy change before my face and to visualize what that economy is going to look like two years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, and then to see the workforce of the future that is being trained at ECAMI. So my message to all you industry partners that are here and those of you that may be watching virtually, yes, we are that recruitment place for you to take our folks and go to your facilities, wherever they may be. But we invite you to build your facilities here in Eastern Kentucky and put our people back to work. You know, specifically, I'm very, very proud to be a part of this program that will help a group of individuals who are going to benefit so greatly from the training and the advanced skills that this program provides. Um, as of this March, um, this Eastern Kentucky Correctional Complex housed about 60, 1,600 individuals, I believe of whom 58% were 40 years or younger. Uh, there should be a very high demand for the estimated 30 or 36 spots um, per year who will earn these globally recognized uh, credentials from the National Institute of Metalworking Skills uh, for CNC machining. And they also get a second robotics technician certificate. Uh, when they have these in-demand computer manufacturing skills, these trainees will prepare for a successful re-entry into society, and their new skill sets are going to provide for meaningful, high-paying employment. I did have the opportunity to visit the ECAMI facility in Paintsville last fall. It is impressive, not just the physical facility, but the people and the program. And the program is proven. It works. People who go through that program come out the other end and they get great jobs all the time. It's a rule. Opening an ECAMI facility on the grounds of this correctional institution is the sort of bold, visionary reentry program that's badly, desperately needed, not just in Kentucky, but all across our nation. Upon their release, they're going to live in some Kentucky community, in some neighborhood, on some street, maybe yours or mine. When an inmate returns to our neighborhoods, I know that we are all better off if he or she has been given the tools to succeed. That means the training necessary to get a good job with a good future. That means the treatment necessary to deal with addiction problems. That means the chance at a stable home, and that means hope for a better life in the future. East Cami has come up with a winning formula, a unique educational approach focused on the specific te technical and people skills needed in growing manufacturers, warehouses, and distribution centers across the country. East Cami and West Liberty is another chapter in East Cami transformation. Another chapter for transformation in the students of this program will be transitioning back to civilian life, equipped with the skills needed in the 21st century workforce. We at Teradyne are here on our own journey, transformation. We are a 60-year-old company that provides electronic equipment that tests 50% of the world's semiconductors used in your computers, mobile phones, and state-of-the-art electronics available today and planned for the future. While today we are a $3 billion company who is gaining market share and profits, we couldn't see another 60 years of growth if we stayed in our niche. We decided that we needed to grow a whole new business when we evaluated a few other potential businesses to enter. And was when we investigated industrial automation that we found what we were looking for. 
First, we saw the global trends that were putting employers all over the world under pressure. The strategy that manufacturers had been using to outsource to low-cost countries was running out of steam. So they are turning to automation. Second, industrial automation was ripe for disruption. The traditional tool set of automation, conveyor belts, custom machines, and huge fenced off robots was being challenged by new kinds of robots invented by fast moving startups. Since eCami draws its curriculum from the experiences of the mining industry, where safety has been a paramount concern for decades, we think that your newly minted automation craftsperson will have exactly the right attitude to help our customers stay safe and productive. About the type of worker you're looking for, about the incredible training we're gonna be doing right here in Morgan County, and about how much sense it would make to expand right here in Morgan County. And uh, John Will tells me there's a pretty good piece of property right over there. I wanna thank uh, everybody that's been a part of this program, from Father Mark, uh, reminding us in prayer that this isn't just something we should be doing, it's something we're called to do. To our warden and to all of the correction staff here and across the Commonwealth, my goodness, thank you for what you do. <laughs> Travis, thank you for reminding us exactly why we're here and how great what eCami does. Thank you for reminding us that we are not our greatest mistake. We are much more than that. Thank you for reminding us uh, about grace, about second chances, and showing us when the right tools and infrastructure is in place, how people can succeed, even if there have been some past mistakes. The importance of welcoming these folks back into our communities and helping prepare them for society is a lesson that we have been taught and that we can repeatedly read about on Sundays and in that good book every other day. We want folks when they leave a facility like this to succeed. We want them to hold jobs, to take care of their families. And oftentimes we say good parents, be good parents. I want them to be good moms and dads. I want them to bring families back together. I want them to show their kids what's possible. We want them to be homeowners. Heck, I need them to be taxpayers. And we want them to truly integrate into society. I tell you, this is gonna be an economic development magnet that companies are going to look at and know that they can do the right thing that follows their faith and values and have an incredibly skilled workforce right here in Morgan County and in Eastern Kentucky. The E-Kentucky Advanced Manufacturing Institute has an outstanding track record that they are bringing to this facility. Where they help train Kentuckians, they put them in jobs, and the reviews that come back are nothing short of phenomenal. Everybody's got a part. To do that, we gotta see a whole lot of those jobs and a whole lot of investment come right here to Eastern Kentucky. Kentucky home. This summer, the people are gay. Where the corn tops ripe and the meadows are in bloom, and the birds they make music all the day. Are going to do right? Remember the whole world's counting on you? Yes! 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 Yes!